Lucy, good to see you. Hiya. Nice to see you again. Thanks for having me in your new city. It's not yeah. bad, is it? Not too shabby. Well, look, we'll get into Barcelona in a little bit, but there's only one place to start. What a summer. England, European champions. It seems like so long ago now, to be honest with you. Wembley and the fans lifting the trophy, yeah, everything. Last time I saw you, there was so much optimism. We're going to do it. Football's coming home. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. <laughs> Told you. Yeah. So you did, you did. She said, you literally said there's and I said only one Germany. place. I said England, Germany, and we're going to win. It's the one thing that I've always said I wanted was to win something for England. Every single one of them players, that would be the highlight for the rest of our lives. Did you have any time to reflect on what that group of players have just achieved? No, I don't think so. I think it was just, not like disbelief, but it was just a feeling that I've not really felt before. Trafalgar Square, the next day the or the day after. <laughs> How was it? Hangover? Yeah, it was a hangover, definitely. I had a text on my phone at about half past four, five o'clock that didn't make any sense. Just, just letters? Just some random letters. And numbers. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I must have went to bed around that time. A couple of hours sleep and it was on the bus. Demi Stokes actually put a, a, a bottle of rum in my bag. So then I took that out and I was like, on the bus, does anybody want a bit extra? Just swigs, just yeah. swigs around on the... Like, we were like, you know what, we might as well. Like, never get that moment No, back we never do. And especially as footballers, like all the girls are super professional. That interaction with the fans and having that moment is something that we've, none of us have ever really had before. Such a high. How do you reset after achieving something so special? It's kind of nice in a way that I've come to a different place. I kind of have to not start again, but I can put that aside. Um, whereas obviously there's so much hype around England at the minute, which is amazing, amazing for the league. Whereas I now get another fresh start, a uh, chance to focus on what I want to do this season. Well, I know the French is decent, but I need to see you order some food <laughs> in Spanish. Should we go have a sit down? Yeah, let's go. Hola. Lucy's going to order for me, please. What do you want? No, I don't know. <laughs> Café con leche. Gracias. I've got gracias in the locker. Gracias. What made you decide to come and join Barcelona? The club itself is huge and the team is amazing, full of world-class players. The Spanish team is unbelievable and that football starts from Barca. So, yeah, I want to play with these players. I want to get better and I want to win trophies again. Such a great place. When you see attendances at the Camp Nou of over 90,000, a city that gets behind both teams, was that part of the attraction? It was definitely a, a big factor of the fan base is crazy. I think from the second that I signed, even through all the Euros, all the England games, they were supporting me as a player. Playing in Lyon, how did the style of play change? from there to here. I feel like I'm proving again every day, learning more about myself as a player and a person and, and just all those all those cliches, but it, it's true. Like, I just feel like I'm, yeah, 20 years old again and, and finding my feet. Now, a lot of the Spain players you'd have played against who are now yeah. your teammates, any stick or have they got you under the wing and looking after you? They said, that the first question was, they were like, who was the hardest team you played in the Euros? I was like, Spain. <laughs> Spain. <laughs> then they had the initiation, I had to do like two dancers. By the end of the night, there was a karaoke. And one of the girls was like, oh, why don't we sing um, Sweet Caroline? I went, no. <laughs> and I, and I, I kid you not, I sat on the table, the Swedish girl was next to me, a Norwegian was there, a Spanish girl. So I was like, nah, I, hey, I knocked all of you out. Had a mic and everything, and then I just got into character, stood up, and just started singing. They all started singing as well. They loved it, to be fair. What are your aims? What are you hoping to achieve for Barcelona? Just winning trophies. I think it's obviously a team that dominates a lot in Spain anyway, but I think uh, the Champions League's the big one. To win all the trophies this year would be amazing. Well, Lucy, it's great to see you. So happy. Thanks for having us down. Yeah. And uh, congratulations Anytime. again for the summer, and good luck for the rest Thank of the season. Thank you.